What's up, what's up, what's up, it's your boy Demo Dom Muto. We're back with another video today. We're watching CJ the Champ. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We're watching uh, Sukuna, Return of the Dog. Anybody keeping up with JJK, I already know what he's about to talk about. So we, we, look. Let's just get into it, man. <laughs> Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Shibuya Trials, round two. And ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time for the trial that many have been waiting for. A trial one year in the making, oh, and it yeah. starts now. Making his way to the stand right now, Challenger 2. Coming in at around 5'8", weighing about 180 pounds of your dog. Yeah. This is the dog. He is one of the most is. disgusting, vile creatures to ever walk the earth. Whoa. And his ignorance is loud knows as no bounds. Damn, CJ. Ladies and gentlemen, the king of curses, Ryomen Sukuna. So y'all already know we have the evidence on deck. The ranking system is ready to tally. And it is now time for the return of the dog. But without further ado, oh my god, I killed my voice doing that shit. Exhibit A. Ryomen Sukuna. A tyrant in the Jujutsu world dated right. all the way back to a thousand years ago. Once a human turned into the King of Curses, he was rumored to have four arms and two faces, and he was such a dog-ass nigga. They gave him the name Sukuna, but then he was defeated and not to return ever again. Until a 15-year-old boy decided to deep throw one of his fingers and let the dog off of the leash once again. And now we're here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Exhibit A. The calm before the, the storm. storm. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as we know, we have covered Sukuna in the past. And I said I would finish this off after the Shibuya incident. And now it's finally time. Yes, sir. But since we have a new ranking system, we need a refresher to add up all those points. So sit up, get in your gaming position, because we about to speed run this home. Let's go. Let's go. Itadori is being attacked by a curse, so his only chance of survival was to full on swallow a nasty ass disgusting that ass thing. Disgusting. Therefore bringing Sukuna back to the mortal plane and one-shotting a curse spirit. But later on, Gojo pops up and sadly whoops his ass. He fully embarrasses bro to be honest. Like he, he literally sat on the nigga and Sukuna takes a L. Next, I mean, one Sukuna figure. fights a curse womb and beats the absolute piss out of him as he was stomping on him. Okay, how would that Gojo fight happen in the, you know, with the, how many fingers you ate? He's dealing with damn near, what, 15 fingers or something, 17 fingers, whatever how much he had. Now, that, that fight, I mean, it'd be a better fight. I don't know if Gojo lose still, but it'd be a definitely a better fight. His face ripping off his arm, then proceeds to use Malevolent Shrine and shits kebabs the nigga. Shortly after that, yeah, he, he decides that. to play Dance Dance Revolution and beat the shit out of Megumi. A generational ass whooping, if I have to say for myself. As he threw him, then proceeded to juggle his ass throughout the entire city. Hitting him with aerial after aerial, then spiking him through a fucking hotel. And finally, violating Yuji in his own body, disrespecting him in his own body, then killing him and taking his body as hostage. Oh, Jesus Christ. And I almost forgot. He made Mojito shit his pants. Bro touched his soul and said, Don't you ever touch my soul ever again, you dirty ass nigga. Know your place trash. Yeah, I remember that. Then damn near killed him, him and put Bro on his knees and made him wallop in excruciating pain. Say, and say, now say, we caught up to the present. Lane, with all nigga. the previous actions already added up from stage one, all I'ma just say is, this man's final ranking is going to be fucking terrifying. We now move on to October 31st, 2018. On the gruesome night of the Shibuya incident, we will now be observing these two dumb ass girls finding the unconscious body of Itadori. So these two idiots decide to shove one of Sukuna's fingers down Itadori's throat to try to get him to come out. What the fuck are you dumb ass hoes doing? Like seriously, did you think this plan was not gonna go south? But then Jungle comes sprinting down the hallway like, what the hell is going on here? Wait, wait, wait a damn minute. Hey, how many fingers you feed that nigga? Oh my God, we're gonna tell you. Yeah, back the fuck up, fuck face. So Jogo decides to just burn him, walk over to Ichidori's body, and pulls out 10 fingers, and he says, The streets say you're the throat goat, little nigga. Hey, so yo. Go ahead and swallow all these up for me. 
And I ain't gonna lie, this is about to sound crazy, but Jogo shoves two fingers down this nigga's throat. Like, yeah, man, crazy. that shit is just nasty as fuck. And this nigga did it while he was unconscious on some Bill Cosby shit. But nah, somehow these girls survived. So Jogo's about to burn him again. But right before he's about to do it again, he ends up realizing, wait, 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 wait a minute. Where the fuck did my hair go? You need to take that nigga off. Zero one seconds to get your dirty ass hands off of me. Those men juggle bags up fast as fuck. And these niggas is shitting themselves. The two idiots over here hyperventilating and shit. Like, oh my god, oh my god, girl, oh my god. Then Joe goes all ugly ass looking at him like, oh Jesus, I think I'm gonna shit myself. So Sukuna walks over and tells him, Sukuna's a bastard on your knees now and they dropped to their knees fast as hell while bro threw an air blade at him nigga made him hit the cha-cha slide bro said how low can you go can you go down low what the fuck stop playing so then he asked the girls first all right what the fuck y'all want and this little girl is having a panic attack she crying and shit she don't know what to say and sukuna in the background like come on now hurry up ho times are wasted so she ends up asking him to save ghetto from a certain person controlling his body which i'm not going to say because i do not know if the anime has revealed that yet but you start seeing they back yeah, don't spoil it and y'all know damn well what happens when you start hearing some emotional last music with a damn nah, this show is really playing good. in the it's background really so sukuna says yeah i raise your heads so they raise their heads. This nigga oh, takes this bitch. Yeah, oh that's my it. god. Oh, sweet Jesus. Unexpected. Oh, these hoes are stupid as shit. And the other girl screaming, like, oh my god. Oh my god. He cooked this bitch right this here, too. He's like, my god, shut the fuck up. He cooked up. this so bitch right here. Selfie power. She like, I'm about to put you on Twitter and cancel your ass. But bro just slices off her frontal lobe and she gets put in a blender. And after this, Sukuna grabs her phone and he started looking at it like, damn, they talking hella shit on my name. The fuck is this Frog Kuna shit? <laughs> Oh, Get the shit out my face. So then he turns to Jogo and asks, all right, what you want? So Jogo says, well, um, to be honest, I just want to scrap with you. Huh? Well, you know, niggas been calling you a fraud kuna lately. Okay, where the fuck did this shit come from? Twitter. So Sukuna ends up making a deal with this man. He ends up telling him, if you land one hit on me, I'll work under you and kill everybody in the Shibuya district. So Jogo ends up accepting the fight, but yeah, uh, I don't even know if you could call this a fight. Nigga, this was a generational ass whooping. Bro started beating the shit out of this nigga, chopping up his arms, blocking every punch, putting off his fingers. He was fighting hard too. Like a rag doll, then hammer fences his head through the fucking ground. They only been fighting for like 20 seconds and bro's already knocked the fuck out. So Jogo goes full on. Krakatoa! Jogo was fighting hard. He's flooding everything but with nigga, magma. That nigga He's got Sukuna the whole city wolf. looking like Crisis City right now. And got Sukuna's He's ass tiptoeing back, dodging with his hands in his pockets. Then Jogo makes two big ass Susano magma hands and slams two skyscrapers into him. Like Jogo, look, this would have worked against almost anybody else. This nigga, not this nigga, not Sukuna and Gojo. Nah, but anybody else probably, <laughs> or mostly anybody else, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you did this against Ichidori. I mean, you probably didn't cook that well, nigga. But bro busts out of it, posing, thinking he's Jesus. So Jogo's like, where, where that shit was crazy. And Sukuna comes from the side and pause, bro. Nigga, look at this frame. This is fucking terrifying. Whoever animated this little split second, nigga, you cooked. So Bro slams him through the skyscraper and starts bouncing his ass like a basketball. And Jogo's just floating in the air thinking, oh Jogo. my god, this nigga's not a fraud. And Bro just palms his face and just starts slamming him through this damn skyscraper. Dear god, nigga, this shit was just brutal, bro. This man got up and his jaw was just fucked. Teeth missing and everything. This man Sukuna was talking hella shit. He said, wow. When the moonlight shining on you, it really shows how pussy you are. But then he ends up picking up his body and tells him, nigga, you ain't shit. So I'm gonna keep on beating you until I'm satisfied. Oh my God, I can't do this shit no more, nigga. So then Sukuna ends up doing some of the most pettiest shit. So this man skating backwards looking like Shadow the Hedgehog while Jogo's chasing him with a meteor. And meanwhile, Kusakabe and Panda oh, are yeah. trying to run away from these sorcerers and get out of the blast radius. But well, while they run and Sukuna comes in and Don't stops him, he got everybody shook. So he said, all right, everybody, let's play a game. We gonna play the motherfucking squid game. Red light, green light, nigga. You do not move until I say green light. Yeah, this was crazy. And they listened. Cause they knew they couldn't move. do that. Really? Nah, this is just petty. 
Bro is really out here just playing with his food. So Jojo thinks he hit him. But Sukuna's just literally over in the corner sitting crisscross applesauce. Bro basically said, Jesus, man, how the hell did you miss that? You know, Aim Labs is free, buddy. But tragically, hey, it was over for Joko. Sukuna was done playing with his food. Bro said, Fuga. And turns into Katniss Everdeen with this damn fire bow and started to have a high noon old Western standoff. And what's funny about this, they don't even show the shot. This instantly goes into oh, Joko's yeah. head and he's talking to his dead friends like, Guys, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. The allegations were false. That nigga's no fraud. So then Sukuna's just looking at him from the back and he tells him, Stand proud. You are a nigga. <laughs> I said, Jogo was fighting hard. And then it just cuts to Jogo spreading corpse. I ain't gonna lie, I feel bad for bro. Bro really got thrown like a ragdoll and beaten to a pulp in his last like five minutes of life. This shit, do you try? Exhibit A wrap up. Murder. Murder. Attempted murder. <laughs> Invasion of privacy. Attempted murder. Murder. Murder! Murder! Mass property damage. Yeah. Exhibit B. Yeah, all righty, ladies and gentlemen. It is now time. <laughs> it was all in the span of what, three, four episodes? <laughs> three episodes? Time for Exhibit B. And what might be the most outrageous Exhibit B I've ever done? Collateral damage. And after this is over, you will clearly understand why I named it this. Because this number right here is about to go through the fucking roof. It is now time to observe the fight with Maharaga and how Sukuna once again decided to play with his food. So they start fighting and Sukuna's already popping off on his ass, cutting him up and everything, but then they go flying. And this motherfucker this fight was out fucking drinking crazy. a diet yeah, coke yeah, this and nigga, just chopping on some you know popcorn. A bro is disappointed. He must have went to go see the Marvels and he just eating the popcorn like, oh, lad, this is disgusting. Hey, no salt that. no butter for $15? Uh, <sighs> must be from AMC. The bro gets mad as hell and just continues to bully Maharaga. Bro, cutting him into pieces and everything. Like, look, bro, the nigga found a finger in his hood. And look at the JoJo reference. These boys is cooking. Then after Sukuna wins the class, he wraps bro up and throws him into another building. So as we can see, Sukuna's whooping this thing's ass. Like, bro looks like he's just having fun. But now, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to focus on the true meaning of this exhibit. In Newsflash, it's not the fight. The true focus of this exhibit is the amount of innocent people that lost their life in this fight. Yeah. Because, oh my God. You know what? Pause this video right now and go get a calculator or open the fucking app on your phone. Because we about to make this shit interactive as a bitch. <laughs> we just going to try to estimate and tally up how many people die in this fight. Starting off, boom, they go flying into this room. Let's get the count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They all get sliced up, and Sukuna just blows up the room. Twelve already dead. Blood stains everywhere, and he's put Maharaga on his ass. And then this is how you can see that Sukuna's just fucking around this entire fight. This nigga's just juggling his big ass with aerials, then grabs a crane, turns into Tarzan, and drop kicks him. And with that single kick, the damage that he just caused is unreal. Look at this. It's a literal car avalanche going on right now. And look at all these people in the frame. I count 14 people in this frame, and that is a poor, innocent little girl hanging on to her mm. mother. And you know damn well they ain't make it out that. Add 14. Next, this whole building is falling down and these people are hanging on for their life. This nigga's grip strength is ass and he falls off. And I estimate there is at least 25 people on that roof. And look at the building falling. You know they're yeah. dead. And then this is where this starts to get really OD. So Maharaka hits Sukuna with a train and throws him all the way into this building. And while he's on his ass, Sukuna jumps up and splits the entire building in half. And just look at all these people, bro. Dead. Bro just split this get entire row of buildings. That's at least 100 bodies, bro. And this is where we start to see the chaos on a full scale. Maharaga threw a building at this man, and he cut it into pieces while sitting on a traffic light and just started making the debris just rain while he's just taking a bow and enjoying the chaos. Look at this, bro. This, this is ridiculous. Nigga, is that a plane? Ooh, I know Boeing is having a fit right Boy. now. And if that is what I think it is, a Boeing 737, and it was at full capacity, that's about 200 bodies, bro. Gone. And look what Sukuna does to this man. Bro said, Get back, nigga! 
and the entire city is being sliced up right now and Sukuna's ready to end this bro's finally done playing with his food again so he ends up activating malevolent shrine and before oh, he even shoots you just look at all these people bro just about to have a gruesome fate these poor girls in here like oh my god girl what is all that noise Ugh, i don't know let me check twitter Oh my god, girl, they dropped the GTA <laughs> 6 trailer. Yes, bitch. But sadly, these girls ain't even get to watch the trailer. Sukuna uses Malevolent Shrine and just washes Maharaga. Yep. Everything just gets obliterated. Anybody in a 200 meter radius were just evaporated. And this Cook. nigga's just smiling like, oh, yes. Burn, baby, too fucking no. strong. And then Sukuna finally finishes. I could see when they take the story. Bro, man. hit him with that. And wipe this fucking place off the map. So after Sukuna just made a crater and caught shit, I don't know. A lot of bodies, man. This is near the Shibuya crossing. So I don't know, man. Nigga, I'm gonna just say a thousand bodies, bro. Yeah. And then after this, Haruta's dumbass thinking he survived like, oh my god, I get to see another day. Another and just one. get split. <laughs> Bro really thought he was a main antagonist. So after this, Sukuna continues to be petty. So he realizes, oh shit, I'm out of time. So to be just a complete asshole, he walks over to the crater and is like, yeah, this'll do. Let the little nigga see what I did. Yeah, yeah, and swaps for this one. back out with Yuji and just traumatizes the kid. Made the little nigga just have a whole breakdown. And I know he's just laughing inside of his head like, enjoy it, kiddo. Now play that good shit. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, Jesus, man, tally up the damn score. Yeah, he got it. He got it. And ladies and gentlemen, that completes the Shibuya Trials. And since y'all showed insane support on that last video, I had to come back and give this to y'all, man. So, hey, thank y'all so much, bro. And Appreciate until we it, meet man. again in like, I don't know, two weeks or some shit, stay two frosty. Two weeks my man. ass, two weeks my ass, but yeah. Shakuna, Shukuna, my fault. Uh, a menace to society, a menace to, to Earth, a menace to himself, to eat it, eat it away. like it's he need to. <laughs> he did all that in a minute. He did all that in the midst of like what two, three episodes, bro. Like he, he different. He different. He different. I love JJK, man. Let me know how y'all feel about the video down below. How y'all feel about this season down below? Like, let me know. And um, check out the last CJ the Champ video, and check out some other anime shit right here. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Peace.